Well, it's an event that I've been meaning to come to for a while. Um, I mean, it's just such a wonderful opportunity to see all these fantastic old cars just uh, with so much history all in a, in, a, in, a, in a little area and be able to go up and touch them and have a good look at them. It's fantastic. I think I've got the best job here today. It's, uh, it's a lovely sunny day. I can put the air conditioning on and power steering and listening to the radio and still be probably as quick as any of them. It's, it's an awesome car. It's a 600 odd brake horsepower, front engine. It's got a beautiful 50-50 weight distribution. It doesn't understeer into the corner and it doesn't transfer to an oversteer or an exit. It's very, very neutral. Very, very impressive car. It's the sort of car you could give to your grandmother to go down to the shops and do some shopping in. It's just not temperamental, it doesn't jump all over the place, but by the same token you can put it in sports mode and it turns into an animal. The Lexus is the sort of car that you could bring it somewhere like Eastern Creek, pump up the tyre pressures and go for your life and have a bit of fun. And then at the end of the day you just let the tyre pressures down and drive it home. It's, um, it really is a very tractable supercar. I've had a lot of people asking me about uh, what's the go with uh, this helmet. It's not exactly my original colour scheme, although it's an adaptation of that. But the main reason is to show the carbon fibre of the helmet, which we think goes perfectly with the makeup of the car, which is predominantly all carbon fibre. In fact, Lexus invented a new way of twining uh, the carbon fibre, which I believe will probably be used in the future for the majority of production cars.